Well, we will see some milder temperatures by the time we get to the weekend, but it's going to be kind of a battle. We're going to see lots of clouds, a few showers here and there, but by Sunday, things look very, very nice. Let's talk about our weather headlines. Some extra clouds out there today, even a few showers skirting the south coast areas like westerly seeing those recently. And because of these extra clouds, temperatures will be held in the 60s. A few breaks of sun are possible later, but it's certainly more clouds than sun. A few showers for Friday. Things do remain unsettled, not raining the whole day, but certainly cooler with plenty of cloud cover around. Which will be the better weekend day? Well, first of all, thanks for asking. At this point, it looks like Sunday, which will be mother approved. I will let you know why. It's mother approved coming up in just a few minutes. We take you right now to our live city cam. You can see winds are light, clouds are out there making the skies gray. Temperatures 61 in Providence, 61 Smithfield, 55 in Newport right now. New Bedford at 63 degrees. You can see the winds in Newport coming in off of the water out of the southwest at six miles an hour. In fact, in Newport, visibility not very good, which I'll show you in just a second. Here is live pinpoint Doppler 12. Most of the area is rain free, but you can see this batch of showers just off to the west of westerly. So it's right in this zone here where the best chance of a few showers are this afternoon. But again, most of us will miss out on those raindrops. 50s right now, Newport, you can see visibility. You can kind of see four atoms in the background, but not very well. So do expect some fog, especially in areas near the south coast for the afternoon. Satellite picture does show that batch of showers is moving away. So here's the center of that piece of energy that's pushing away. But again, we get scraped by a few of these showers into the early afternoon. As we take a look at our future cast, you can see around 2 p.m. Most of us rain free, but a few showers possible, especially in western and southwestern Rhode Island. We go into the evening and as I go past midnight, a few more showers are possible. And this is kind of the story for the next 24 hours for tomorrow morning during the commute, even through tomorrow afternoon, some showers and even an occasional downpour is possible with more clouds than sunshine. Now here's backtracking to this afternoon, mid 60s, mostly cloudy skies, perhaps a little sunshine late with a temperature of 62 degrees. It's going to be cooler at the coast, upper 50s, to low 60s, 60 Charlestown, Newport 62 with some of that fog out there this afternoon, 64 in Hope Valley. We go up to the north temperatures also in the mid 60s, 65 here in Woonsocket, 63 Burville, 65 in Foster and 65 in Situate. Eastern Massachusetts temperatures also in the 60s, 63 in New Bedford, Taunton. I have you at 70 because currently you're already in the upper 60s. Middletown at 62 and Little Compton 63. So here's that seven day future cast. Those passing showers tomorrow. Here is Saturday, Saturday, a mixed bag. We're talking about some sunshine, milder temperatures, but some showers and even some downpours also possible. So it's still unsettled for Saturday. Then on Sunday, a cold front actually helps to warm things up. It kind of cleans out the atmosphere. We get those nice dry winds from the west and Mother's Day looking great right now. Mid 70s, a little breeze in the afternoon with mostly sunny skies. The rest of the seven day future cast holds on to temperatures in the 70s. You can see 73 on Monday. It gets unsettled again towards next Tuesday and Wednesday with high temperatures in the upper 60s to low 70s and the chance for a few isolated showers and thunderstorms. So it's a slow climb to the 70s, but we do get there. Don't forget WPRI.com, the place to go for your latest weather updates. But so far, I think the moms are happy with that Mother's Day forecast. Looking good. Thanks, Pete. Here's a look at what we're working on for Iowa News beginning live at 5. Controversial 